You know, when you think about unpassive today, we, we really are in a different place. Uh, and it's a really, really terrific place to be in. I'm Mike Ellis, by the way. And I wanted to talk to the founding members of Unpassive, those individuals participating with Unpassive, you and I, uh, where we're at, and to get on that same playing field that Unpassive is at today, which is just out of this world. I heard a term the other day, and it was a really great term, very expressive. And the term is default mode. And when you think about that term, it really is where the majority of the people in Unpassive are at, and really the people around the world are at. And what, what default term means, it, it really is uh, your life and how rogue it is. In, in other words, uh, as you go through life, you know what's going to happen. Uh, you know what's going to happen day to day to day. It gets very, very routine. Re it gets very, very routine and rogue. It's just we all know what's going to happen. And the reason that happens is because in life, uh, you know, we all live off of the past in some way or another good or bad, uh, all those thoughts come into us. And, and, and a lot of times the, the bad thoughts will rise up, and that's what we remember. And because of that, when we get into a place where it's very, very safe, we can take care of our families, we make enough money to survive, uh, we just go with the flow. We just do it. It really is de a default mode. And it's not thinking outside the box. It's not going where you haven't gone before. A good example is that I know a young lady that's very, very good at her job. I mean, she's very, very good. She knows what her day is going to be like. She gets up, she has her cup of coffee, she goes to work, she does what she does. Again, very, very rogue. She comes home, has dinner, does whatever she does before bed, goes to bed, and it starts all over again. And that's five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. She knows what's going to happen. And the problem with being in that default mode is there's never any inspiration. There's never an opportunity to really see the life you want to live and a way forward to accomplish that. To have those unlimited possibilities that could happen in your life, very, very positive, because you're in that, you're in that default mode and your life has become very, very rogue. <clears throat> when we think about on passive, Unpassive has eliminated all of that. And if you're in that default mode and you're just going through life and you've looked at Unpassive and you think, you know, maybe this is it. And here's the thing about the founding members of Unpassive, all of us, at one time or another. Um, I listen to a lot of founders throughout the days and, and the weeks. Uh, I listen to a lot of them. And most of them, they're all saying the right things. But I look in their eyes and I see in the back of their mind, they're saying, is this real? Is this going to happen? Is Unpassive going to change my life? And the reason for that is because their past experiences. Again, it's the default mode. They think about the bad things that have happened in their life. I'm not good enough. Uh, you're not pretty enough. You're, you don't talk well enough. You're not the brightest bulb in the room. You need to work 65 years, retire, and die. That's what's churning in their mind. And what I'd like to do today is get you out of that roke, that roke mode and start thinking about the possibilities that Unpassive brings to the table because they're here for all of us. You know, when you think about a business, uh, there are a couple of things that you have to have to be successful. Uh, number one, you have to have the idea. You have to have the knowledge. It's really, really important that you have that. Does Mr. Mufar have that? Absolutely. But it's there's so much more to it than just the knowledge. You have to actually have to execute. And if you don't execute, nothing will ever happen. None of Unpassive would have ever happened if Mr. Mufara couldn't execute. Ash not only has the knowledge, he has the vision, he has the dream of Unpassive, but he has the ability to execute. And most people fail because they don't have that ability to execute. They might have a great idea, they might have tremendous knowledge, but if they can't execute their plan, it's never going to go anywhere. So who would you rather father, fo follow? Someone that has tremendous ideas, has a lot of knowledge, 
but can't execute or someone that maybe the, maybe their ideas aren't even all that good, but they can execute. Now with Ash Wufara, the ideas are out of this world and they continue to come every day. But have someone that can not only have tremendous ideas and knowledge, but execute. That is on passive. And what on passive brings to the table, it gives you the ability to, to start being inspired. I understand that you have to go to work. I understand that there, there's, there's an element of, of rokeness there. It's always going to be the same. But with on passive, you can start thinking outside the box and really start determining what you want your future to look like. You know, when I, uh, when I talk to Marty and, and Dan, Marty DeGarmo and Dan Street, they're my, they're, they're my partners. Uh, we've kind of gone through this journey together, the journey of on passive. Um, I'm always excited to talk to Marty and Dan because I never know what they're going to say. And when I talk to them, I know that they've, they're not thinking inside the box. They're always thinking of possibilities, and those possibilities are unlimited, especially since Mr. Bufara came into the picture and Unpassive came into the picture, something we had been looking for a very, very long time, even though we didn't know it. And when I talk to them, I'll, I'll listen. And, and a lot of times it's, it's the same stuff, and I listen. But, but, but more often than not, Dan or Marty, they'll come out, they'll come out <laughs> and they'll say something, and I'll go, oh, 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 there it is. There's the gem. And what it does for me, it inspires me. And I'll think about that for, for days, the possibility, the unlimited possibilities of that one little gym. That's where you want to get. You want to get to the place where you're thinking outside the box, understanding that this is a reality now. And whatever you can think, whatever inspires you, you can take it to the next level because you have a gentleman in Ash Mufara who not only has tremendous ideas, he can execute. And because of that execution, it gives us the ability to do the same thing. And whether you understand it or not, whether you've seen it or not, whether you've heard it or not, listening to Mr. Mufara, he's been teaching this, he's been teaching us this that the whole time in you know, past I've been in for three and a half years. Mr. Mufara has been teaching me not only about the knowledge side, but the execution, which is so critical to anything we do. He's been teaching us by osmosis how to execute. It's what Danny and Mar it's what Dan and Marty, Dan Street and Marty DeGarmo do for me every day. It's what Ash does for me every time I listen to him. I'm learning by osmosis how to execute, and you have to execute in order to be successful. On passive, it's not a problem. That's what on passive is. And, and over the over the course of the next weeks, as we go into the product launch of the global market, I'll be talking more about that. I want to give you an example of, of, of what Marty, Dan, and I think about. You would think uh, those individuals that are participating with on passive, we think about the AIIT products uh, nonstop. That's what we think about. Uh, how, how are we going to use them? How are we going to implement them? How are they going to make our lives better? How are they going to make our business better? We don't. We don't think about that. Now, yeah, I think about the AIIT products. Uh, they're always there in the, in, the, in the background. But I don't think about them primarily. And the reason why, and this is the same with Marty and, and Dan, and, and Mr. Mufara, by the way, we're past that. Uh, I... I know it's funny when Marty Dan and I talk we, we usually end the conversation and I don't know why but it just it just goes there we live in abundance today we absolutely live in abundance today all three of us say that and we haven't made a dime from unpassive yet but we know it's a fait accompli it's done it's going to happen we know it's going to happen uh we we don't even have to think about it and we don't what we think about is what's coming. And, and I'll give you an example of, of what's been on my mind for probably, I don't know, maybe three or four months. <clears throat> I've lived with people who, who have had cancer most of my life, from, from uh, my early adulthood until today, most recently, just a year ago, a good friend of mine died of cancer. And it's always bothered me because there's always been campaigns, collecting money, we're going to cure cancer. 
And today, that industry is a trillion dollar industry. I don't think there's anybody in that industry that wants to cure that disease. They're making too much money. Now, I know there are really, really good people in that area that, that have good intentions and, and probably do want to cure that disease. But not too long ago, and I follow, I follow a lot of different things in a lot of different areas. And, and one of the things I've followed is something called a med bed. And, I, and I've looked at it. I've done some research on it. It's, it's, it's a very, very old technology. This technology has been around for probably, I don't know, 80, 90 years, and I won't get into that today. Uh, but the technology is a reality. They're out there. They're available today. Okay. And then I hear Mr. Mufara talking about what's coming in the future, and he throws health in there. And this is Mike Ellis talking. This is not Ash. This is not Unpasses. This is just how my crazy mind works. I think, okay, well, what is that technology? And what comes to mind? Med bed. A bed that you can lay down in, and it takes care of whatever ails you. We never say cure. We don't. Uh, the individuals that use these beds, they never say cure. They never say anything like that. Just come in, lay in it, see what happens. That's what they do. But I listen to Ash, and MedBed comes into my mind, and I think, okay, what does Mr. Mufara do? What does Unpassive do? They take existing technology, they improve it a thousand percent, and then they put it on the market. Okay, is the MedBed one of those things that Mr. Mufara is working on? I don't know. I don't know. I know the technology is out there. I know it's operating today. And what I'm going to do in, in, in Colorado, and Unpassive has given me the ability to think outside the box, to dream, to think about those unlimited possibilities. And one of the things that I will be doing in Colorado, that's where I'm from, from I'll be setting up a place, a clinic, where people can come in for the med bed on the eastern slope, on the western slope. Uh, if you don't know Colorado, the Rocky Mountains run right through the middle. We call the east side eastern slope, west side western slope with 14,000 14, foot peaks running through Colorado. I will, put the, I will put clinics throughout Colorado. Better than that, all of these clinics will be free, absolutely free. My vision, my goal, and, and I don't know if I can accomplish this or not, but I think I can. I think it can be done. If I don't do it, I think Ash will probably do it, is to put that trillion dollar industry out of business. There are no more people that need those treatments from that industry because there's a way to take care of it. And, and it's funny, when you think about the treatments that these individuals give, they never talk about a, a cure. This is something that goes on for the rest of your life, whether it's a couple of months, a couple of years, or 20 years. You're always going through treatments for the same disease. It's, it's just crazy. So, that's where my mind goes. And I know it's crazy. And you know, many of you will, will look at me and go, well, like, that's just insane, Mike. Yeah, it is. And I love it. Unpassive gives me the opportunity not only to be inspired, but to think outside the box and to go to those places that are unlimited. I don't have to stay in a box. Ash Mufara, Unpassive, Marty DeGarmo, Dan Street, have taken me out of that rope mode. I never want to go back to that. I never want to have a mundane life. And that's what happens with most people. They work for 65 years. It's so mundane. They're not inspired. They, they get to 65. They can't wait to retire. Even though they might have loved their job, it's just enough. They've had enough. And they want out. They want to retire. And the thing about retirement, it doesn't change. It doesn't change your mind. Your mind. There's no ins inspiration. There's no thinking outside the box. There's no, there's no capacity for an unlimited future. Good, good, good future. When you think about unpassive, you think about Ash Mufara, you think about inspiration, you think about unlimited, you think about an individual who can know, not only has tremendous ideas, but who can execute. And when you put all that together, he's given all of that to us. So my goal today is to get you out of that, that default mode where your life is so rogue. And I know right now you have to do that. But on passive is in the product, product launch to the global market. It is going to change very, very quickly for all of those individuals participating with on passive. 
And if you're in that mode for whatever reason, whether it's fear, whether it's just it's just the way it is, get out of it. Start thinking outside the box. Start thinking about changing one person's life. When I think about the MedBet, I think about changing Colorado and eventually the whole United States, eventually the world. Now, I'm not going to do that on my own, but I can start where I am and I can change lives where I am. Start where you are, think outside the box, and change one life. If you can do that, your life is going to change. Your life is going to get better, and your life is going to be inspired. That's where we all want to be within on passive. And when we think about a leader that we want to follow, I want to follow a leader that has vision, that is inspired, that has the knowledge to do what he's going to do by executing his vision, that is Ash Mafara. And then I want an individual that wants to bring all of us with him, wants to share the wealth with us, and wants to change every life that is in Unpassive today, those individuals participating on, with Unpassive. So I just wanted to, to, to share that with you very, very quickly. Uh, we're in a great place. Get it out of that default mode. If your life is rogue, is rogue it's going to change very, very quickly. Get ready. Start preparing for that. Change one individual's life, and your whole world will open up and change. And yes, inspiration will come into it. So that's it for today, guys. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, I always recommend you go down there, sub subscribe, click the bell on the right, and you'll get notifications as we do more videos. As you can, as you can tell, I've said that before. But we'll be putting up more information, more content and as Ash comes out and shares it with us. Get ready, get inspired. Your life is going to change and it's going to be absolutely awesome. Take care and we'll, uh, we'll absolutely see you on the inside. Talk later. Bye.